something super interesting that I loved about deaf culture and my mission obviously is the fact that once you kind of let one know it really opens it up so the baptism for Crystal um, like the third person in the line so Juliana who was the member her friend got baptized and then her friend's friend Crystal her baptism she got up and for a beautiful sweet testimony and you can never interpret a testimony I swear I would try so hard um, but everyone just knows what they're saying anyways the spirits they're so strong that you just stop at some point and everyone knows anyways but the connections that happen you know a friend was at the baptism and they know them and so they love it and they realize the change that they made and they're so close as a community that it just affected everyone so I love that a second thing that I love is that the Lord really blesses people who are deaf and I'm sure it happens with every language you know I wasn't the best at, at sign language I had known it for a while but I wasn't super good and so I still had like places where it wasn't my native language and so it's hard for me to explain and so I felt really bad when they left because I really didn't think they understood and then I'd come for the next lesson like one time um, Bronzy sat me down and she said I didn't understand what you were trying to explain to me last time you left. And I was like, shoot, you know, I'm going to have to start all over, which I'm excited about, but I just don't know how I'm going to do it differently. And then she told me, but I was praying about it that night and I fell asleep and I had a dream and Heavenly Father laid it all out for me. And it's amazing because that happened so often with people that are deaf. They have these miraculous dreams and Heavenly Father will just teach them visually what you couldn't teach them in sign language or in English because they wouldn't understand it as well it's just like this amazing thing where she felt like she saw it visually what I was trying to tell her um, it happened with another friend who Crystal's husband was adamant that he was never ever going to get married and he Crystal got a blessing one time from the elders that said your husband will follow you if you're faithful and he she, actually they called me up when I got back to Nauvoo and he said that um, he had, had a dream one night where he felt like Christ had come to him obviously it was just kind of a figure and it said you need to follow your wife Holy Father it said that to him through a dream and it was just like amazing because it was the exact words and these people would act immediately to these dreams that they had and it was amazing to see their faith as soon as they understood their willingness to jump right in and do what they felt like the Lord had told them to do. So I love that.